Even the trees are full of rubbish, bro. It's four different generations of public housing designs. This is so much beyond what I expected. I'm Spanian. I was raised in the housing areas of Sydney City. Spent most of my youth and adult life in prison. And after a total of 13 years, I'm free and I'm out and about flying around, sussing out the hoods all over the world. It's Oge. Here we are, back to the hood. We're in Barcelona. Let me give you a backstory here. So a couple months ago, I done an episode into the hood in Barcelona, El Raval, Barcelona's most dangerous area, targeting tourists. I got a lot of feedback, mostly from the Barcelonians themselves, the locals that were like, El Raval, <laughs> that's nowhere near as dangerous as La Mina. You didn't even go to the dangerous area, blah, 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 right? And so, I looked into it, La Mina, La Mina. I looked it up. It's called the Bronx of Barcelona. And I'll be honest with you, it does look pretty bad. It does look worse than El Raval. Is it worse than El Raval? We're about to see. It's called the Bronx of Barcelona because of the way it looks. Really depressing, really poor housing blocks. How you imagine the Bronx, you know? Clearly, that's where it got its name from. They're not gonna call it the Bronx of Barcelona when it looks like San Francisco, are they, mate? So we're going into this place. It's not a tourist danger zone, mainly because it's not a tourist zone. So we're in North Barcelona now. It's not a danger for tourists, but I dare say that's because no tourists go, go there. It's way out the way. It's in the northern suburbs. It's pretty far. It's a good 30, 40 minutes out of the tourist place, but it is the high crime rate section of Barcelona. Apparently in the last 10 years there, there's been a big issue with squatters. So the houses are getting that run down and just no one cares about them that much that squatters are just living in entire units and they've apparently worked out ways to steal the electricity and, and water. So they're living in their proper housing with electricity, just claiming houses. Apparently it's a big problem in La Mina. The government's been trying to do something about it just in the recent years. If you noticed, my secret camera here. This is the first into the hood I'm doing with this. I can just like, and it turns on. This part of Barcelona, compared to where El Raval was, very quiet, like empty almost. This is the main street here. And look, it's pretty dead. Although it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It has, well, I've never been to Miami, but you know, like how we all picture Miami. I feel like I'm in Miami, bro. <laughs> People from Miami like, what? what's that? But yeah, it's very dead. The beach here has a nice beachfront walk the whole way up with like, you can see they, they put so much effort into like training parts and soccer fields and all along the beach and it's just empty. All right, this is where we are. So it's pretty much just straight up, straight all the way and then left. 19 minutes walk, straight all the way down. And Lamina is a suburb on the side, on the left side of this road down here. So it's nice, oh, excuse me, nice and simple. I'm already not liking wearing this camera. <laughs> I haven't even, we haven't even got there yet and I'm already, I already don't like this camera. I'm just overthinking it. I feel like it makes me stand out. You can see it's starting to get ghetto. I classify them as hood flats, 100%. Bruh, straight out, across the road from here, that's full hood. 
This is definitely the start of it. Even this side, actually. Have a look. Yeah, we're here, bro. This is bad, bro. This is five times worse than El Ravel. These shops look like a prison, lad. Oh, look at the back of these things. Honestly, didn't think that Barcelona has a ghetto side like this. No way. Those are fucking windows. Brother, that's the least amount of thought ever put into a building, bro. Who built that? Looks like a freezer. I wonder what these shutters are supposed to be. Are they like people's garages or was there plans that they were shops? Oh, look, they are shops. Well, that one's a shop anyway. Yeah, this one's a shop too. Yeah, they're supposed to be shops. What a fucking ominous suburb, bro. like a whole different vibe of flats around here on this side they've gone from being that whole white look to this brown brick you can see how many of these lockers or whatever are supposed to be shops and just amounted to nothing honestly over 95% of them. Margarita. That's like a hot food one. You know what? This place is huge. I'm looking down streets like I can see all the way down there. Blocks after blocks, bro. Oh, so look down there, over this paddock. Feels like this paddock used to be blocks of units. They got knocked down or something. Nah, nah. Feel like it was supposed to be like a community garden or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at all the different designs of buildings. From this design here, to those over there. All public housing designs. Back to this design here. Back to those designs there. That's four different generations of public housing designs in one block. Oh, hello. I've got to learn Spanish, eh? You know that I'm part Spanish. I mean, yeah, they say things like, bonas. I got no idea what it means. I just got to read expressions and I'm like, and then I said, the funny thing is I said hello, but I said it with an accent. I went like, hello. <laughs> like that was my attempt of being Spanish, bro. <laughs> something's happening here. Like something's fallen off. Bricks have fallen or something. Wonder where from. Right, that's scary. Bro, the building is the building's tilted outwards. Bro, listen, I'm not tripping. I don't know if you can see because it's sort of fish-eyed the lens anyway. This building in this part, over there it's sweet, but in this part, it's like coming over the top of me. 
only slightly. So I'm saying it's bending like the Tower of Lamina, but you know what I mean? I can see that it's like leaning, at l leaning over this. That's scary, bro. There's no way I'd live in that, lad. And then your building's starting to fall off. Look. Bro, it's so ghetto here, bro. Bro, look down in this part here. Bro, this is the worst part. Bro, the fucking bird, man. This place between the flats. Lemon iced tea. Iced tea? Iced tea, yeah, lemon please. This is so much beyond what I expected. Cars. Now I'm glad I wore that body cam. Did you see between them traps, bro, in that little shop? Look, look around me. It just goes on and on. It's, it's everywhere. There's this big car park in the middle of it, but it just keeps going. I'm pumping my iced tea and we're continuing. Oh, you see that street, bro? Even the trees are full of rubbish, bro. There's people just chucking it out. You know what? That's a thing I've noticed in Europe. When you go to the worst of the worst parts, it becomes this thing where you chuck your rubbish out the window. And so it continues more and more. Is the same amount ahead of us as we've just been through. How is that even possible, bro? I feel like that was definitely the peak of it. That street behind us, did you see that? All right, times like that, definitely don't want to be walking around the middle of all of those locals can you imagine that with a gopro in my hand like i'm doing right now that would have been dead set unachievable that was off its head lad like i just said without holding the gopro situations like that i don't i don't care bro what are you gonna do like making myself a target with cameras and that i do care it's nerve-wracking you know what i mean because you don't know how they're gonna take it you don't know like what's the chance that they see someone recording slyly there's a lot of different things that can go through their head. A lot of them are bad. I don't think YouTube is the first thing that comes to their head, to be honest. Anything from undercover police officer to an op trying to get, you know, info on them. <laughs> Combined with the way I look, you know what I mean? They'll be thinking like, who is this guy? What's going on? We've pretty much 
exited it at the far end now. It was, that was so much worse than I thought. Now we haven't specifically been to this part, but this is, yeah, back along the, the way out. Have we been here or not? I have no idea. It's so generic that you can't even tell. I feel like I've been here, but then I feel like I haven't. <laughs> I'm lost. This is the Mina, bruh. That's into the hood. It doesn't stop. I tried to do the outro four streets ago. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of here still, bro. I walked through another like, honestly, 10 minutes thinking like, should I still be recording here? Or should I was, but should I still be talking here? <laughs> the fuck? Well, how do I get out of here? Help me. <laughs> I'm about to ask someone for help. Get me out, bro, Uber. All right, for real this time. I think we've made it out. I think we've made it out. This side of the road looks nice. Nicer. I think we've made it out, mate. Yeah, we have. Oh, 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 oh. 